thanks for the introduction, Andy. And uh, so I'm I'm a PhD student, uh, yeah, from University of Montreal, and uh, uh, I'm working on the North America Boreal Forest, uh, simulate uh, the classic model at uh, such a level, and uh, to investigate the model performance and improve the model performance for the carbon dioxide and water energy fluxes and. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you the uh, some some work of my at the part of my PhD study to optimize the uh, key parameter for the photosynthesis and the photosynthesis model and to improve the model performance. Uh, the model I'm using is the Canadian land surface game, including biogeochemical cycles. Uh, it's the land surface game, uh, land surface component of the Canadian Earth System model. And the main focus of my, my PhD study is work on, on the North America border forest, uh, the, on the carbon dioxide balance, and also some work on the water and energy fluxes. Um, uh, the uh, the ad queries and supporting environment are important for model evaluation and um, development and have the um, played a, a key role in the model development uh, in the past decades. And uh, so for my study, to initialize my study, I uh, set up a, a benchmark data set model and for you uh, that are useful for the model evaluation. And uh, uh, totally I use eight sites across the North America border forest, uh, all the all the forests that are metro forest and uh, they cross the different uh, uh, permafrost conditions and from the southern limit in the permafrost free and to the con discontinuous continuous permafrost. And they have different uh, climate uh, conditions and uh, and all the measurements are provided available data to for the model evaluation. And uh, also I combined other measurements. Uh, so the first step to, start, to set up my study, I set up a compile or model benchmark data set uh, that combined the flux data and the meteorological data and also some related measurements on the soil. For example, in the for the boreal forest, the organic layer is very important for the model to set up and to simulate the permafrost dynamics and in the site and also vegetation part and four different plant functional types and over in the over story, under story and ground cover. Um, so the uh, the data set provided the fully gap field meteorological data that can be it's ready to use for model to benchmark the models. And uh, also for the evaluation, I provided the um, quality control screening for the flux data that would improve improve the the observation, the uh, the quality of the observation and reduce the uncertainty. Um, and now the data set is shared on the website, are shared online, and if you are interested, you can directly download, and it, it can be used to benchmark the terrestrial ecosystem model, and also can be used for the flux analysis to compare the fluxes across different regions. Um, and if you if you would have any questions, and you can directly email to me about the data set, I can tell you the details and how different variables I work over and also the compiled soil vegetation data that are useful to set up the model. So the benchmark data set model are important. Uh, I, I use it to evaluate the, the model performance and uh, across different sites. And from the evaluation, the show that the classic tend to over the GPP and the UAP transpiration. Uh, this, these two processes are closely coupled in the Photosynthesis model. Uh, so the GPP part is very important for the process based based terrestrial ecosystem model, and it will uh, influence the simulated the kind of property. For example, the LAI and also net carbon dioxide balance and uh, influence all in, um, almost everything in the carbon dioxide uh, cycling. Um, so for the classic. It's used a FIQI photosynthesis model. In the FIQI photosynthesis model, the maximum carbon exhalation rate is uh, one of the most important parameters to respond for the 
um, for the GPP evaluation, and it, it also influences the UEFA transpiration estimate. Um, so, uh, however, there are, as I just mentioned, I set up the model at a different site, and uh, uh, they are all different uh, plant function types. Um, for example, the trees are important, and uh, for the southern limit, if there is a closed tree stand, tree stand, but if you go to the north in the permafrost region, the tree will be important as well, but the shrub and herb plant function types will very important for the land surface functioning and for the GPP and also for everything. Uh, so there, we for the for the WCMAX part, we we try to look at the observations and uh, from the leaf level gas gas exchange measurement, but uh, there so far the measurement is very limited for the floral biomini and uh, also the other side have a different uh, um, plant species that have different abundance and uh, the trees uh, generally the trees is most mostly uh, dominated by the black spruce and uh, a few species, but for the tree, uh, but for the shrub and herb, they are, um, they are all different kind of the species and, uh, and a different abundance. So for the model parameter that they are, you have finality problem uh, for to, to turn the within max and to improve the GPP part. And we look for a basic framework to optimize the parameter and to optimize the parameter to the observations. Uh, so this is this is through the WCMAX. So for the FICA photosynthesis model, the WCMAX is the key parameter to simulate uh, several different limitations of the photosynthesis. And uh, in classic, the WCMAX is simulated uh, based on the kind of uh, temperature and also soil moisture it will to, to simulate the drought, the sensitivity to the drought. Um, and WCMAX seasonality is considered for several several plant function types and that I have uh, abundant that I and um, that I uh, most significant with the seasonality. Uh, and we use the uh, uh, Bayesian algorithm. We use the tree structure, the pricing estimator is a Bayesian algorithm to optimize the, the high parameters for the model. Uh, and we use the, the GPP and the UEFA transpiration in the cost function to turn the Parameters uh, and run the uh, run the optimization at the single site and run the optimization pod all each side together. Uh, the right figure show that the the tree uh, structure the Python estimator is a, is very important is a very efficient parameter algorithm to the optimization and. Uh, I, for each site, I just run the 500 iteration and the convergence can be found by uh, about 100 and 200 uh, iteration. So this, uh, this, this algorithm is uh, very, uh, very efficient for the optimization found at the site. Uh, I guess you are, you, you are quite familiar with the technique part of the basic optimization. So I just, uh, uh, skip this and look at the result. Uh, we used uh, so the optimal the parameter will definitely improve the improve the, the model performance. Um, and we also use some reference data from the grid global estimate um, at the stand to the stand to evaluate to, to evaluate the model performance. So for the GPP part, we can find the the WCMAX will improve the the GPP across the all sites and all all different uh, data sets we can be found. Uh, but with there, the model will meet a challenge for the ET transpiration, the the UEFA transpiration part. Uh, so in the permafrost free site with the tree I close and. Uh, uh, with more tree contribution to the land surface uh, skin functioning and the river transpiration is easily to improve. But into if we go to the permafrost region, the river transpiration is uh, is it meets some difficulty to improve. Uh, we we thought this is because of the because there is the, the tree is more open and the, the shrub and herb will contribute a lot to the land surface functioning and the improvement will be. So the coupling of the 
uh, photosensitive to the phthalmo phthalmo conducting will be uh, less significant than the southern limit. Um, so the, in the permafrost region, and the with mass improved for the ET will be difficult, and um, the soil evaporation will make a great contribution to the site. And uh, this is uh, so for the JPP part, it will definitely improve a lot at the site. And uh, we go to the optimized parameter. So with max is very important for the for five quite photosensitive model and a lot a lot of study have uh, um uh, have uh, investigated the specially variation and also special variation and also for different bio biomines across the global. Um, as I just mentioned, the the measurement at the borough biomine is still limited uh, for the for the borough forest. So our so the optimization is not observed, but we found a lot of interesting here. From to for example, for the needle leaf algorithm trees, we found that the width max would be smaller than the uh, than the value used in in than the value used in the model in current use the model. This this would be um this would be responsible for the overestimation of the GPP at uh, many sites. Uh, However, we found a lot of uh, special variation variability of the for the shrub and purple plant function types. This this suggests that the this suggests that the the model will meet some challenge to simulate the shrub and herb the um, PFT wheel for different uh, for different sites. Uh, Although the although the limit, the observation is limited for the for the borough forest, we still find some uh, um some observation at the site. Uh, for example, and from the leaf, uh, from the leaf level gets a change measurement. So the measurement uh, support the optimization. And uh, for example, the needle leaf algorithm tree the, is smaller than we thought uh, using the needle model. And however, it's difficult to compare the compare the width math at the species level due to the limitation of the observation. Um, but uh, we found, uh, but the observation also suggests a lot of variation for the shrub and herb plant function types, and uh, this is quite quite interesting. To that that the result also support the optimization. Um, and the next, we investigated the investigated the uh, special variation of the such level uh, optimize the optimize the result with the uh, with the stand character of the, including the meteorological that uh, also also the latitude and the different region uh, different uh, growth seasons and uh, different um, different stand characters to look at the variation. Um, so the 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 random forest regression suggests uh, the latitude would be important for the shrub and the plant, plant function types uh, to explain the variation of the width max. And air temperature is uh, air air temperature is uh, important for the needle leaf algorithm tree. Um, so the such level variation provided a basis to run the model at original simulation, and uh, it will be it. Uh, it's interesting to suggest it for the original uh, regional simulation. And yes, and this is the short conclusion. And we found the needle leaf algorithm trees that show agreement across the site. And we found the light uh, special variability of the VCMX for the shrub and herb plant function types. So this is supported by the leaf level gas exchange and measurement. And, uh, and this also suggests the model will meet a challenge for simulating for the simulating the GBP and the ET for the northern part of the North America borough forest in the permafrost and the, in the permafrost region. Um, but uh, the red, the random forest re regression suggested some opportunities of, to improve the um, the width mass permutation at the regional scale, for example, the latitude, we found the latitude is important for the shrub and, and the air temperature for the needle leaf trees. 
So yeah, this is uh, the my presentation. Is quite short.